About one in nine people over the age of 65 will be diagnosed with some form of dementia, and that number jumps to nearly one in three after 85. And here's the shocking truth. It may seem like an inevitable fate, but it isn't. Research from leading neuroscience centers shows that people who keep their brains active can cut that risk by up to 50% in their likelihood of developing dementia. And now, listen carefully. When you stop learning, your brain begins a silent process of deterioration. Memory becomes fragile. Reasoning slows down. Creativity fades. You start to lose the very thing that makes you human, the ability to think freely, to question, to create. You probably know that our bodies need constant stimulation. When someone stops training their muscles, what happens? They shrink, they weaken, they become fragile. The brain is like an invisible muscle. When we stop reasoning, questioning, and learning, it begins to wither in silence. The connections that support memory, logic, and creativity start to break down. And this process gives no warning. One day you simply wake up and realize you're forgetting simple details. You no longer think as clearly. And the mental energy that once felt natural is gone. Hundreds of millions of people around the world already live this reality. Many don't realize that the root cause is not just age or cruel destiny, but the lack of constant mental stimulation. How many times have you heard someone say, I got old and lost my memory? <laughs> what almost no one tells you is that memory loss doesn't come from age itself, but from stagnation. A person stops challenging themselves, stops studying, stops learning new things, and the mind shifts into survival mode. It stops growing because it sees no need. And when that happens, not only does memory weaken, but the entire body begins to respond with signs of decline. But don't worry, there is a solution. You can change everything starting today, if you're willing. Imagine being able to stop this process before it even begins. Imagine living your whole life with mental clarity, with the energy to learn something new every single day. It's not just about reading more books or memorizing information. It's about staying alive on the inside about challenging your mind at every moment, like a scientist facing the unknown. And here's the key. Continuous learning is like oxygen that keeps this extraordinary machine running at peak performance. Without challenges, without new information, without curiosity, the brain suffocates. But when you feed it with study, with reasoning, with bold questions, something amazing happens. It builds new connections, strengthens memory, opens doors that once seemed closed. And this is not only for the young, not only for scholars, it's for everyone at any age. Imagine living your entire life with mental clarity. This is not just about reading more books, it's about staying alive on the inside. It's about constantly challenging yourself, acting like a scientist before the unknown, and keeping the flame of curiosity alive. Because if you stop learning, your brain gets sick. Now that you understand the danger of letting your brain sit idle, the inevitable question arises. What can you do to keep it from wasting away? The answer is clear. You have to keep it moving. And I'm not just talking about crossword puzzles or memorizing numbers. I'm talking about a lifetime of challenges, of new experiences, of insatiable curiosity. Every time you learn something new, every time you push your mind to wrestle with a different concept, it responds by creating new connections, strengthening old ones, and opening pathways that didn't exist before. It's as if you were expanding an invisible map inside your head. Every new word, every idea, every calculation, every reflection is a brick added to that mental construction. And here's the secret. No matter your age, the brain can always be trained. Think with me. An older person who decides to learn a new language challenges their mind just like a young student would. They're not just memorizing words or phrases, they're expanding circuits, forcing the brain to build new connections, exercising memory, attention, and even creativity. Each word learned is like a weight lifted in the gym of the mind, and science has already shown this effort drastically reduces the chance of developing dementia. Now picture another scene, a man of the same age, but who decided to stop. 
He repeats the same routine every day, never reads anything new, never challenges himself to understand something different. His brain conserves energy, settles, begins to shut down connections that are no longer used. It's like a muscle that weakens until it has no strength left. In a short time, memory lapses appear, reasoning slows down, and what could have been prevented turns into destiny. That's why we can never stop studying, reading, talking with people who think differently, learning music, writing, daring to take on new intellectual challenges. All of this works like a vaccine for the brain. It's the invisible shield against forgetting. Now pay close attention to me because I have a challenge for you. I want you to pick in your head one number between zero and 10. Got it? Now pick another number between 11 and 20. Hold those two numbers firmly in your mind. Now, without paper, without a calculator, only with the power of your reasoning, multiply them together. Take a deep breath, think slowly, do the math in your head. It may seem simple, but this small exercise is already activating connections you often leave dormant. If you went with eight and 19, may the universe help you. I sure won't. <laughs> and here's the most important part. Write the result of that multiplication in the comments. Leave it there. That will show not only that you listened, but that you acted, that you're not just a spectator, but an active participant in strengthening your own mind. The more you exercise your mind, the more protected you become. And here's the point I want you to remember. It's not about age, it's about attitude. The brain of an older person who keeps learning stays younger than that of a younger adult who stopped challenging themselves. Whoever keeps curiosity alive, whoever never stops seeking knowledge, not only protects memory, but also gains vitality for an entire lifetime. Now listen carefully. You need a practical guide that will keep you disciplined even when motivation disappears. Because the truth is simple. Motivation is like the wind, it comes and goes. What sustains you is habit, routine, the conscious choice not to stop. Pay close attention now because I'm going to give you powerful techniques to train your mind every single day. First, choose something you enjoy, but that also demands effort. It could be learning a language, playing guitar, solving chess problems, writing stories, painting, or even studying mathematics. The secret is to unite pleasure and challenge. What entertains you keeps you consistent. What challenges you expands your mind. And once you've learned, start teaching. Yes, teaching because teaching is the key that accelerates learning, deepens understanding, and turns information into wisdom. When you explain something to another person, your brain has to organize ideas, simplify complex concepts, and find examples that make sense. This process not only locks memory in place, but multiplies the strength of neural connections. It's as if by teaching, you etched knowledge into a deeper layer of your mind. And here's the most amazing part. You don't need a classroom for this. You can teach your grandchildren, nieces, nephews, friends, anyone. You can even teach yourself. Yes, talk out loud in the car, in the bathroom, in front of the mirror. Imagine you're explaining to an invisible audience. Every time you put yourself in this role, your mind grows stronger. Science has already shown that the brain learns in stages. First, when you receive information, then when you practice. But the peak comes when you teach. That's when your mind realizes what it truly knows and what it still needs to learn. Now imagine the impact this could have on your life. You read a book and then explain it to someone. You learn a new word in another language and teach it to your grandchild. You study a complex idea and then summarize it out loud as if you were giving a lecture. <laughs> this habit turns knowledge into mastery. And here's the final key. Don't wait to become an expert to start teaching. Teach from the very beginning, even if it's only a little. Because every explanation is training. Every attempt to translate a concept is a victory of the brain over stagnation. A master is not someone who knows everything, but someone who never stops learning and sharing. Second technique, set small, consistent goals. Don't try to learn 100 words at once. Learn five words a day, but do it every day. The mind responds better to consistency than to bursts of effort. The brain loves rhythm. Train active memory. It's not enough to read or listen, you need to recall. Close the book and try to repeat what you read. Pause the video and explain to yourself what you just heard. It's in this effort to remember that memory strengthens. 
Create a fixed ritual, just like you brush your teeth without thinking. Make mental training a non-negotiable habit. It can be 20 minutes in the morning or half an hour before bed. What matters is that it's sacred, a promise you make to yourself. Third technique, eliminate distractions, turn off notifications, create a quiet space. Your brain cannot grow if it's constantly being pulled away. Focus is the bridge between you and knowledge. Fourth technique, mix pleasure with discipline. Read about topics you love, but once in a while choose something difficult. Learning only what you like won't expand the mind. Facing what makes you uncomfortable is what creates new connections. Fifth technique, reward yourself. Every time you reach your goal, celebrate. A coffee, a walk, a break. The brain responds to reward and associates effort with pleasure. Imagine this, if you dedicate just 20 minutes a day to this process, in one year, you'll have invested more than 120 hours in training your mind. And that could be the difference between a brain that fades and a brain that keeps shining until the very last day of your life. Discipline is the key. Don't wait for motivation. Expect results. Every day you keep the habit alive, you are building an invisible fortress that protects your memory, your identity, and your freedom. So starting today, make it a ritual. Learn, explain, teach, even if it's just to yourself, because teaching is learning twice. And that's the path to keeping your mind alive, strong, and luminous until the final second of your life. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you wanna keep your brain young and sharp, because here I'll show you how to never let your mind stop. Leave a comment telling me what you thought about this reflection. What struck you the most? What are you going to start applying from today on? Remember, every comment is one more step in this mental training. Because learning alone is powerful, but learning in community, sharing ideas, is even more transformative. So comment, like, subscribe, turn on the bell, and never let your brain stop.